Okay, now I know everybody out there is going to be really wondering this in their head, but uh, you're coming to see them tomorrow to do an inspection. Um, what 10 things are you going to look at at any food business? Well, Mark, it's a bit like a customer. As we walk into premises, we're immediately starting to make judgments. Right, okay. Um, even the servery area or the restaurant area or the front of the shop, what does it look like? Is it clean? Immediately starting to build up a picture of how well, because if, if it's looking right. shabby and ropey yep. for the customer see, it's not often going to be any better going straight through into the kitchen area. Okay, makes sense. And um, the second area, obviously when we go into a kitchen or catering establishment, we wash our hands. Yes. And the simple way is that A to C they've got a wash hand basin, which yes. is crucial. Crucial. And also that they've got hot water, right. hot and cold water. If they haven't, could, could be grounds to close the place if they're actually producing food. Right, so what's the, you look for premises first, the homeless second, what's the third thing you'd probably do or look for? Well, then we'd be looking at um, uh, staff, uh, staff working, what are they doing with their hands, are they washing their hands, what, you know, what, what, what is their uniform, how clean does the place look? Right, okay. Uh, looking for signs of pests, yep. uh, looking at equipment, is it well maintained, yep. looking at stock control, looking right. at how food is being uh, 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 prepped, stored, cooked, yep. um, is it being well wrapped, being covered, is right. it being labelled, yep. um, and really looking at food from when it comes in to when it actually leaves and actually goes on someone's plate or onto someone's bag. Right, in every step of that process you'd be looking and, at. And looking at how the business is managing food safety, right. particularly the critical control points. So that's a really important one, how they yeah. manage it and critical control yes. points. And, and they can only know about the critical control points if they've actually got a written food safety management system because that should identify critical control points which is critical to keep food safe. Brilliant, and, and what would sort of be the last one or two things you'd actually finish off with doing? Well, well, actually, it will be having a wash-up meeting with the proprietor. Right. I like to start with things that have gone right, yes. good things, because yeah. even a bad place, oh, absolutely. hopefully a few things. Yeah. It's always nice to start on a positive course note. Course this was excellent, but... Yes. And then you can bring in the maybe 10 or 20 things that might be wrong, but it's very important to let the proprietor know what's gone wrong, and even more importantly, how to put it right. And in so doing, they can often turn a very poor place to a very good place in very quick time. And obviously, most importantly, improve their star rating. That's great, isn't it? Thank you so much for all your Thank help today. Really Thank appreciate you. it.